Hey guys, I'm back and I am dying and itching to get this project going. Um, so this is the chalkboard letter and it was painted with three layers of chalkboard paint which was... Da, 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 <coughs> American Crafts. Sorry, my husband's over there. We're all dying from allergies. Um, and of course he hasn't made a single sound in the last hour that I've been sitting here and of course as soon as I start recording. Anywho, um, I'm going to use the pink chalk that we, well I know a lot of us got last year um, from Michael's. I don't know if it has a name or anything on it. Just regular chalk. But I was, I'm going to do um, pink. It's for a little girl and I want the extra pink flakes of the chalk to kind of make it look a little old. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So um, first thing I'm going to do is prep my board. So I'm just going to rub chalk all over it. So that way it'll hopefully do what I want it to do. Which is make it not look so new. And I'm sorry you guys can't really see this bottom half of it, but my computer or my um, screen isn't really large enough to show you guys everything. Oh, I had a rag. What did I do with my rag? I had one. I do not have one now. Okay. So I'm just going to smear it in. Just to kind of make it look old and used. And so I'm hoping this is going to work out the way I have it in my head. <laughs> We all know how those projects tend to go for me. Just not so well. I'm trying not to put too many of my oils for my hands on it. Doesn't seem to be working out so well in my favor, but that's okay. <coughs> oh man. Sorry guys, you're gonna hear me hacking up along too. I've been sick for the last, like, week and a half with, um, I don't even know what. Because I've taken every allergy in the pill, every allergy pill in the world. And nothing seems to be helping. I forgot how, like, powdery this stuff is. Okay. So that's all nicely prepped. And then I watched a video, and it's like a two-minute video on how to transfer images to chalkboard. So I just took and I asked mom permission. She said it was okay if I showed the baby's name in full. So I'm going to do the whole project with you guys. But we're going to cross my fingers and hope that this works. So you just take whatever your image is, you print it on copy paper. Just regular old printer paper. And chalk up the back nice and good. Definitely want to cover up the entire image. And I have my fingers crossed that this is going to work. And she uses the tip of a pen. I have my stylus here, which I'm hoping is going to work. And some painter's tape or masking tape. And again, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I've never done this before, so I have my fingers crossed that this will work. And I have, whoops. I'm just going to tape that down, and, oh, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, tape this side down, and cross my fingers. My game plan is to trace all of this and then paint it so that way it's permanent, and then I'll put this uh, clear sealant over it. And I hope you guys are, can you see that okay, kind of? So I'm just going to trace it. And you guys won't really be able to see me tracing because it's, like I said, with the stylus. That I usually use for my, um, scoreboard. But 
and I can see like the indentations of where I'm going. It's going to be a lot of tracing and retracing. And actually, I was sitting here thinking about this project, and I was thinking about um, Ginny from Rave Blue Raven. Did it work? Yeah, kind of. Worked well enough, I think. So I'm going to hang you up there, and I'm going to take this, which my buddy Kimmy sent me, and I don't know how to work this thing. How do you... I probably should have asked her, how do you sharpen this before I started messing with it, huh? I think this is how you do it. I don't know. This is, um, oh, I may have taken out too much. Not good. Okay. Um, how do I sharpen this? Sorry guys. <coughs> oh man alive. Okay. So I'm gonna try to sharpen this. The only way I can think of how, because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hoping this doesn't break. And this is a fan fano? Fano China marker that my buddy Kimmy sent me. Which I saw someone use this on their um chalkboard image and they said it was permanent so I want to try it because I might just do a white outline at least that part's permanent and then I can like I said fingers crossed not have to worry about losing the image and then I can just paint over it I don't need this sharper how do I make this sharper Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I just realized that. I'm just going to keep drawing until I get somewhat of a sharper edge here. It's making my letters too thick. Let's see if this will work. If I'm totally, I'm, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of product here, so if somebody knows how to sharpen this without, because I don't, can I sharpen this with a sharpener? See, I should have asked her before I started. Okay. That's better. But anyways, um, Brave Blue Rave, Brave, Brave Blue Oh, Jenny, don't be mad. I can't. Is it Brave Blue Raven? Brave. Boy. My memory. Anyway, she was doing um, an art journaling page with a lion for courage. And she had me cracking up because she was like, you know, I have to trace this thing five times. And as I was sitting here thinking about how I was going to do this project, I'm like, oh, man. I kind of have to do the same thing, not as many times, and I didn't design it myself. But I can kind of understand her not wanting to trace 50 times. But you know, it's kind of like playing telephone. You never know if it's going to come up, you know, as good as it did the first time. So hopefully that's permanent, and I'm going to save. Whoops. Well, maybe. I was going to recycle that. Alright, that one's there. And this one is here. And I have my little thingy here. And this one is going to go to the side of that. 
I need to... What am I doing? Okay. Sorry guys, I'm like really focused because I don't want to screw this up. I only get one shot at this. Well, I mean, not technically. I guess I could always just, you know, it is chalk, erase it and do it again. Okay, I think the game plan is this is supposed to go here and the butterfly goes here. So I can bring that over just a little bit. Gotta figure out where all my placing is. Okay, and so chalk. Lots and lots of chalk. I don't think it was as heavy as I could have been in that lily piece. Nope. I don't want to bend my paper. Oh, sorry. I'm so not even afraid. This is going to be another bad video, isn't it? So I saw that I have a couple new subscribers. I'm very excited. Welcome to my craziness of who knows what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. I'm supposed to go see the doctor. I think I'm like, I think my only concern is I'm afraid I might have like bronchitis or something. So not good. Voice is all weird. Okay, let me figure out how I'm taping you down. Tape you here. And tape. I can add a little more tape right there, which is fine. Okay, I don't want to cover up the lily because I don't want to. So just in case that's not permanent, I screw it up. I don't want to mess with that. So let's go right there. Um, over, over the L. There. All right. I have a finer tip. I'm hoping it'll work better. Okay, I just want to make sure my big old head wasn't in the way. So, while I'm trying to focus, I'm not doing so well with it. We, um, we just got back from our Disneyland trip. I'll show you guys all the goodies Hubby let me get. He's so funny. So I'm like, all right, well, just keep in mind we got it, you know, because I'm going to make two albums. So I wanted to buy two of everything, like sticker wise and ephemera or whatever it is that we were going to use for our albums. So I'm just like, I'm grabbing everything and I'm like, okay, let's decide what we're going to, because I'm, I'm that type of shopper, shopper that throws everything in the cart. And then I second guess what I really need, and then I put everything back. Does anybody else do that? It's so like my cart looks like it's, you know, thousands of dollars worth, and then by the time I get up to the front, it's like 20 bucks. So, Javi was like, you know what? We, we've never done Disneyland before. I want you to have enough supplies to make the best album ever. So, just take everything. I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah, just take it all. Okay, because I'm going to make one for his mom, too, because his mom came with us. Man, I tell you what, that was a trip from H-E double hockey sticks. As you can hear, I was sick the entire time. Um, my legs kind of gave out on me. I was having, I'm still having really bad back spasms from trying to walk on day one. So day two and day three... We rented scooters. I cannot believe how ridiculously priced their scooter rentals are. $70 a day. And you get $20 back if you show them your receipt when you return it. Like, those machines are paid for a thousand times over already. Plus the ticket price to get in. Which is crazy. So, it's definitely not a trip that we're going to take, like, you know four or five times a year. It's definitely a once a year type deal. But my kids had a blast, so it was all worth it. Well, except for Jonah. Poor Jonah. Our first day um, driving out to California, 
um, we realized at the last second he has motion sickness, which we never knew because, you know, we've driven to Vegas and, you know, to Arizona and back and never had a problem like this before, but there was like one windy road. Oh yeah, he didn't handle that too well at all. So he's in the back seat because we have a Dodge Caravan. And my poor boy is in the back seat between his two older sisters, puking his head up. We're all, fan you know, panicking. I can't get my seatbelt undone, so I'm stuck, trapped in the seat, trying to get a trash bag. I'm sure you all can figure out where that all went. Yeah, it was not good. So, of course, my girls are in the back seat, gagging, trying so hard not to join his party. I had been, you know, throwing up three days prior to the trip itself because my anxiety I don't handle people very well um, I used to I used to have I never had a problem with leaving my house or talking with you know people that was my job I was a manager for Walgreens um, for seven years so talking to people was never an issue for me and I don't, I don't know if it's just because my anxiety is spiked up or what but like my anxiety was through the roof the week, the whole week before we even left. And um, I think that's kind of one of the reasons why I got sick. Is because I couldn't bring my anxiety levels down. And um, I'm one of those stubborn ones. I don't, I don't want to go see a psychologist to give me medications. I'd rather just, I don't know, suffer through it, I guess. Probably not the most intelligent plan I've ever had. But, uh, and we all, any of you who've watched my channel before, we all know that I have no shame in talking about my depression or my anxiety. It's a part of who I am. It makes me me. And y'all love me for it, because it makes me random and kind of crazy. And that's what makes my channel fun. Oh, you guys can't see the top of my head. I just did a little dance. You guys can't see that. Just kidding. But anywho... So I was sick like three days before we even left to take this trip. And then my poor son got sick. So of course I got sick again with him. Because I'm already like sensitive. And then my poor girls are in the backseat trying not to gag. It was just, oh man. We were one hour away from the hotel. So uh, we finally make it to the hotel. You know, we finally get his stomach to calm down a little. I, well, not really because, I mean, he was... Poor kid was he would take like a sip of water to try to get the taste out of his mouth and his poor stomach. He was not a happy camper. So he had a trash bag with him the entire time. It took us about an hour and a half to get back to the to get to the hotel finally. We make it to the hotel. He's hugging the toilet. And uh Hubby went and grabbed some Dramamine for him. And we gave him some of that and that kind that helped him out tremendously, like if you have anybody who has motion sickness at all and you cannot find something that works, Dramamine. Dramamine is the trick. It worked for Brianna when she was little. It worked for Jonah. That's I don't know what that stuff is made out of, but it is a godsend. Because he took Dramamine the rest of the trip and he went on like every roller coaster he was tall enough to ride on. and um, Which I think was every roller coaster except for screaming at California Adventure. He was like a centimeter too short and they wouldn't let him ride. So he was a little butthurt about that, but that's all right. I'd rather them protect him than him, you know, not make it. See, that one came out good. Okay. All right. So more chalk is the key. But I'm not even going to save. If I need these reprinted, I'll just have that be reprinted. Okay. Okay. Now the only issue I have is that this is not sharp enough, but I don't want to accidentally rub this. So what do I do, guys? Somebody talk to me. Um, I don't know what to do. I totally don't want to screw this up. Oh, I'm so hesitant. I don't, can you sharpen this with a pencil sharpener? I don't know. Do I even have a pencil sharpener? Another well laid out planned video, right? So, 
Anywho, um, yeah, my poor son was sick. First day of driving me and saved his life. He went on every single roller coaster. Scarlet, man. Dare devil. Pissed because she couldn't ride screaming. Trying to explain to her that, you know, Disneyland doesn't want to be responsible for her death. She was not acceptive, you know, not accepting that answer. It wasn't a good enough answer. She rode the Matterhorn. Tower of Terror. Now, she wasn't a fan of Tower of Terror, but she wrote it. Tell you what, man, that kid scares me. She's a brave, brave soul, that one. See, my game plan is just to write it all out with this, so that way it's permanent, and then I'm going to go over it with paint. Because I want the letters to be pink, but I don't know if they make this in pink. And I don't have it in pink. I'm lucky I have it in white, because my buddy Kimmy sent it to me. Which means I guess I don't really have to... Well, no, I'm using the, the pink... Wait, the pink chalk paint. Or the pink chalk to get the background pink. I don't want that in white. So I was just thinking to myself, it's kind of pointless for me to be using the pink. I'm just going to write over it in white, but I do have a purpose. There's a reason for my madness. I just have to remember what it is. So anywho, yeah, Scarlet wrote everything. Love the Matterhorn. Wasn't too crazy about um, Space Mountain, but I think it's because it was dark. She's not very big on dark. She didn't like um, House of... Or, no, Tower of Terror, what is that one called? You're in the elevator and it drops you. I couldn't even ride, there was no way. I, mm -mm. No way I was going on that one. But I do have to say that having my sister-in-law there, she works for Disney. Um, she's one of the, I think she works one of the rides in, not Space Mountain, what am I thinking of? What is that area called? I forget. Anyways, she works there at one of the attractions. And uh, so she got us like a lot of, um, she would go. While we were on one ride, she would go get um, reserve times for us because his mom and I were both in wheelchairs. So we got return times and all that stuff. And we had like, we didn't have to wait in any lines. It was apparent. See, and for me, it was like really crowded. But then again, like going to Walmart at midnight is crowded for me. It freaks me out. There's just too many people. And there's like two people there. But I'm just saying. Um,. I, just, I don't know. I guess I just have a thing with, like, if I don't know you, I don't want to. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anybody else have that problem? Like, once I get to know you, it's cool. I don't know. It's just so weird, because, you know, had you talked to me, like, three years ago, it was the most outgoing person you'd ever meet in your entire life. And ever since my car accident, I've kind of just become a recluse. And just kind of, you know, keep to myself. And I, don't, I feel like I'm bothering people if I call them. Or, you know, because they all have jobs and they all have lives and things that they do on a Friday night. And, well, I don't. So I feel like I'm bothering people. I guess that's what it is. Or at least that's the conclusion I'm coming up with for today. So, yeah, to me, there was, like, a ton of people there. My sister-in-law was like, oh, no, this is, like, dead. Really? She's like, oh, yeah, this is nothing. She's like, you can actually see the ground. She goes, on a busy day, you can't see where you're going because there's too many people in front of you. It's like, yeah, I probably wouldn't survive if there were that many people there. I'd probably get kicked out for... Screaming at somebody for getting too close to me. My children had a blast. All four of them. 
and we did Disneyland the first day, Disneyland Adventure the second day, and then we let the kids choose on the third day where they wanted to go and they chose Disneyland. So we went back to Disneyland. And then Jason's like entire family apparently planned this whole trip with and for us because they sent um, uh, Grandma with a whole bunch of gift cards, my mother-in-law. $25 here, $25 there, $15 here, $40 there. So these kids made out like bandits when it came to uh, buying things that they wanted from the Disney store. Plus we had my sister-in-law with us, and she gets a nice discount. So... Well, I don't know about this, guys. I might end up repainting it. I might have to come up with a different game plan, because this is not... I don't know if it's coming out the way I want it to, but I don't want to give up on it just yet. Does that make sense? Hmm. What do you guys think? Can you guys even see it? So they're big Star Wars fans, which is the, hence the, the force is strong with this one. And then the other one is going to be, um, ouch. I love you to a galaxy far, far away and back. That's going to be the other quote further down. Yeah, I feel like I've wasted too much of this product and I feel like I'm about to do it again. There's got to be a smarter way to do this. I just don't know what it is yet. Does this go up? No. Damn. Oh, no. I lost my little tear. Shoot. I know you're supposed to... See? I probably went too quick. Is that what happened? Oi. One of these days, Kimmy and I are going to have to do a video together for this specific reason right here. Because I screw it all up. She can yell at me, don't do that! <laughs> Wait! Let me explain. She's really good at explaining things to me to where I can actually understand it. Which most of you guys are, which is really nice. Because you guys give me so much advice and so much help, like I can't even begin to explain how much you guys help me out without realizing you're helping. Alright, come on little guy. Cooperate with me, I can't- oh, I'm not even in frame, sorry. I'm such a pro. Not even close. Okay, where do I come off? You're supposed to be nice. Come on. And peel. Nice and slow. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. It's ripping. I'm gonna lose it again. Dang it. Okay. Yay, would you look at that? It is permanent. <laughs> Sweet. Sorry, I just had to test it. Distractions. Okay. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Okay. Sorry, I'm distracted by the pencil now. I don't even remember what I was talking I know I was talking about my son and his wonderful upset tummy fiasco. It was so bad. I didn't sleep for like the first two days. Literally got like 15 minutes of sleep because as soon as I shut my eyes, I heard him run into the bathroom and I had to go check on him and make sure he was okay. And then of course I couldn't lay down because way to be congested and try to lay down, that just doesn't work. Does not work at all. It would just start hacking up along and then I was afraid I was going to wake everybody up so I just stayed up, made it easier. And then, um, see how we did that. And then, what else do we do? We, uh, I know we, we went to visit Jason's uncle, who's 90 years old. Now, this is the brother of the grandfather that passed away. Um, oh, God, I can't believe it's been a year already. In February of last year. Okay, will you just peel off now? Be nice. Why? Only I could have this many issues. Seriously? 
how do you be smarter than the pencil? This is not working for me. This is not working for me. That means I can't keep going because this is what I was using as a saving grace. Great. I don't know what I did. And I don't know how to fix it. Oh, my screen changed. Pictures on me it scared me. I thought I just lost everything. So, sorry guys, it's kind of rant. It's also 2 o'clock in the morning. And as we, I was just saying, the whole no sleeping thing, it's been like this for about a week and a half now, so pretty much waiting for the kids to go back to school so I can go see a doctor to find out what the heck is wrong with me. Because literally, as soon as I lay down, I just start coughing. And then I can't breathe, and I can't catch my breath, and I start coughing so bad that I have to go, you know, handle business. And it's just not fun. Okay, I'm like, seriously, having a hot flash trying to peel a freaking pencil. This is unacceptable. How? <clears throat> I have to be smarter than the pencil at some point. I don't know if this is really smarter. But I'm hoping it's going to help. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Oh, dang it, I lost it. Lost it again already, and I just grabbed it. Okay. So let's keep trying. Alright, alright. Nope, that went the wrong direction. Oh my goodness. Only I could be defeated by a pencil. I'm just saying. Seriously, I'm going to waste all my video time trying to sharpen a pencil I can't sharpen. You guys, did you guys ever watch that show, Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Did you guys ever get to the point where you said you're not smarter than a fifth grader? Because right now I feel like I'm not smarter than the pencil. I'm feeling pretty defeated right now. Come on, little bugger. Right there. Come on. This is so not happening. Seriously. Defeat a pencil. Come on. This just shows you how stubborn I am, though. I don't give up very easily, apparently. I, I don't break the top of the crayon now. That's not what I'm after. So anyways, we went and saw Uncle John. And Uncle John, who is 90 years old, um, was in the hospital because he got hit with bronchitis. So... Okay, I got a little bit, which is better than nothing. Holy smokes, all this just for a little extra piece of white. Okay. Trash can. Trash can. T oh, look at that. Trash can. <laughs> Jeez. If I could ever learn how to clean up after myself, my children might do it too. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, man, sorry, guys. Okay, the butterfly goes here. I don't know how on earth I'm going to do this. My drawing skills are not that skillful. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, so I'm trying to coat it really, really well. Breaking now. Alright, I'm just gonna do it the way I was doing it because this is not. I thought that was gonna work out better, but it's not going on as smooth as I would like it to. Ouch. Okay. So let's coat that. I'm just gonna have to worry about cleaning up later because, yeah. Trying to worry about it now is kind of silly. And. Place it like that. And oh, 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 oh. Okay, stick that 
there. Since I now know that's permanent, it's safe. This is section done. Okay. Alright, moving along. Oh, I totally just taped up the butterfly. That's right, I'll just trace over it. Let's try not doing that down here. Okay. I want to make sure it doesn't move. A lot more tiny detail to this little section here. Okay. So, yeah, Uncle John has bronchitis. He's in the hospital. And uh, seems to be doing really well. Sharp is attack, man. Apparently, um, Grandpa Paul was the only one who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, which, knock on wood, that's amazing. Not that I'm happy that, you know, Grandpa Paul was diagnosed with it, but, um, his sister who passed almost two months to the day, she did not have it, and neither does her other brother. No, so, yeah. That he is actually moving out here to Arizona. So that'll be nice to have him closer. Okay, see if I can do this without ripping the paper. Okay. The thicker side here. It's, it goes on smoother if I do the thicker side for some reason. I feel like I'm going to rip the paper if I use a smaller section, or a smaller, this thing, stylus. Just hear the paper, like, crackling, and I feel like I'm going to rip it. I don't feel like I get as fine of detail when I use the thicker side. Okay, check my indentation. <sighs> so yeah, I got a ton. I'm so excited. Got a ton of projects coming up. Well, that didn't turn out too, too bad. I don't think. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I'm just going to jump right in. I forgot the circles on the other side, didn't I? Dang it. Okay, I need to sharpen it again because I'm not drawing on the right section. This poor box. <laughs> it's like I'm drawing below. There we go. I don't get much time with that sharp edge, or point, I should say. Kimmy, if you're watching this, don't laugh. She's probably laughing at me because she knows an easier way to do this. Worst comes to worst, I can paint over it, right? Oh, right. I hope. <sighs> okay, butterfly. And we're at 40 minutes, so I'm going to stop there. I have the rest of the letter to go, but I'm going to stop there for now. And uh, upload this, because I don't want it to be too, too long. I don't like... See, and I don't know what I should do, because some people say they don't like it in too many parts. Some people say they don't like it too long, but I kind of have to do both. So I don't know, should I like keep going to make less parts, or should I make it shorter with more parts? Like, give me your ideas. What should I do, guys? 
because if it were me, I would just, you know, I'd keep going until the project was done, but then we'd have a five-hour video. And I'm pretty sure YouTube would not be happy with me with that one. So, I'm going to call it quits here. We've gotten this so far. Hopefully it doesn't look too, too bad. It doesn't look too bad from, like, when I look up camera over here, it doesn't look, the end looks a little bad, like in this little area. But other than that, it doesn't look too, too bad to me. I don't know. All right, let me know what you guys think. We'll keep going with this because I'm dying to get it painted and get it done and out on to the next project because I have 50 million projects that I've got going on. I've got this guy going on. I've got wax candles that I'm going to do for a family of mine who, um, well, I say they're a family of mine, but they are, he's pretty much like family to me. I've known him since junior high and, um, his stepdad passed away very suddenly from pneumonia that was misdiagnosed. And so I have a picture of him and his family um, that I want to melt onto candles. And then I'm working on a, I don't know if you guys can see that, a crocodile owl pillow to go with the baby blanket over there. I've got too many albums to make um, for the Disneyland trip. I, I've got so much like oh, rattling around in my head. So. Anywho, like I said, I'm going to stop here and we'll pick this up hopefully tomorrow. I don't know. It depends on what time the kids go to bed. So, all right. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Bye.